co? Możemy lecieć? Aj. James Savage, yes, J.O. Felony, Bullet Loco. Hey. Welcome to Poland. Mm. Uh, I must introduce Thanks you. Uh, yeah. West Coast legend, San Diego's finest, mm. and one of the greatest lyricists on both coast. Oh, thank you. Period. Bro. I really appreciate that. Yeah. I really appreciate that one. It means a lot to me, man. So, uh, first question. Where you been, Jo? It's been like oh, uh, eight, seven years since that last internet project we on yeah. purpose. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, I just been going through it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, anybody else, I'm human too. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, went through my trials and tribulations, but you know, um, I'm back now, and it ain't no stopping. And uh, my future's bright. I'm really excited about what's going on, what we're doing right now. Um, you know, it's it's a crazy time for me, man. Um, even just to you know go through all those trials and tribulations and come back strong as i've came back it's really um it's overwhelming to me and i'm really excited about being on tour right now with exhibit and problem and all the guys and i'm just uh real thankful and and just really humble myself and and you know but that's the whole point of me coming back as james savage you know letting people really know that's my government name that's who i really am so people can really get to know me as a person and you know just put the J.O. Felony stuff to a side for a minute, which I still, I'm still gonna make music under J.O. Felony, so don't think, you know, that 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 um, image is gone for, forever because it wasn't all bad, you know what I'm saying? So I'm definitely coming back with music under that name, but right now we pushing James Savage and just, uh, you know, I'm just planning on being a, a, a household name under my real name and letting people know who I really am. And when I decide to go back to the character of J.O. Felony and make music under that, people will understand that too. But, you know, that's what it is. All right, cool. Uh, the new project is out. Uh, mm -hmm. I just checked, it's been 18 years since your last retail release yeah, with man. Crip Hop. Crip Hop. Yeah. Crip Hop was the last album I put out. Um, it's crazy that shit came out like right around the time 9-11 happened in America and the buildings got hit, you know what I'm saying? Crip Hop was the shit, you know what I'm saying? So um, I'm just happy to be back after all that time of being away from the game and, um, you know, just much love to all the fans that, that stuck with me through my hardships and, um, you know, encouraged me that you know they you know a lot of a lot of my music um when i run into people they tell me that it got them through a, a struggle or something like that or it got them through a hardship and um i really appreciate the love that um that the fans have shown me over the years when i was away because that kept me strong it kept me going even you know i went to the penitentiary like twice you know what i mean um and um I was just thankful to get get my freedom back more 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 so than just getting back into the music but getting my freedom back is priceless you know what I'm saying so I'm just thankful to be back you know to to even have a passport and to be able to travel without no boundaries and and get out here and touch the people that really love what I do man it's really a blessing and I would never take advantage of that again and as well as lead by example and show others you know the youth out there man that you can bounce back from anything but you know by me going through that, hopefully you won't have to go through that. You know what I'm saying? And I don't wish jail on my worst enemy. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not a place for anybody. And um, I just hope that you can avoid that at all costs. You know what I'm saying? Except for snitching, though. That's the only cause. You take your ass to jail. Don't be no snitch. Anyway, but you know what I'm saying? I'm happy. I'm making music. I'm down with my bro, X to the Z. We got Open Bar Entertainment. You know, we got a new movie out, Broken Ground. It's, it's, it's a new day for me. You know what I mean? Uh, your pen game is still like you never left. It's yeah. like when you wrote Shamstick. Uh, the you. new album is is uh, really dope. I need to ask you because uh, it really sounds like a, yeah. like an aftermath album. You got yeah. Focus, you got Khalil. Yeah. I even saw a, a short uh, snippet on you being in studio no re doubt. rewriting some uh, verses with Dre. Yeah. Uh, did Dre oversaw that uh, broken ground project? Um, Exhibit actually oversaw it. You know what I mean? He helped. He, he brought everything together, and we actually made the music first. But. Um, like you said, all those beats and everything came from the Aftermath catalog. So, um, you know, with X being a good friend of Dr. Dre, um, we were able to um, get those beats, you know what I mean? And Dre hooked us up to where we could listen to um, tracks from, you know, his library. And 
it was crazy because I was hearing stuff that, you know, Kendra Lamar rapped on and different artists and stuff like that. So we was picking from top notch of tracks, you know what I mean? And working with Focus and them joints. And um, day one in them, man, it, it was crazy. And Rick Rock, all the producers that worked on the project, you know, are on that level, you know what I mean? So it was real fun for me to just get back in the studio and, and X to be there with me, you know what I'm saying? And we just uh, bouncing off each other with ideas and, you know, just having fun working at at, um, at Dr. Dre's studio and being able to go in there when um, I know people wish that, you know, they could end up where I, where I am, you know what I mean? Wow. So... Um, I'm still like a kid in a candy store, you know what I mean? Like, wow, I finally got here, you know what I'm saying? Before it was too late, I long finally overdue. got here. Yeah, it's long overdue, but I feel like one thing about it um, that is a blessing, I feel like, like you said, I, I didn't lose a step. I feel like I gained a couple steps with my, my penmanship and my lyricism. I feel like I'm at my best right now, so that's a plus for me, and I'm just looking forward for, for everybody to hear it and the people that really love lyrics and hip-hop. I'm really looking forward for you guys to hear what I'm, I'm doing because I love to play with words, so that's who I'm here for. The people that love, people that play with words, that's what I do it for. So I just want you guys to hear what I'm I'm coming with and I got some stuff for the ladies coming out you know since I've been real hard in my past even though I you know made records for ladies in the past but I'm saying I got a project with my dog Sly shout out to Sly he's one of Dr. Dre's artists and we've been working on a project and it's coming out real soon and it's a lot of stuff on there for the ladies I think you get I think you y'all gonna really enjoy it and I got a new album coming out as well you know what I'm saying called Roadkill no I mean Overkill Roadkill is one of the songs, but it's called Road, It's called Overkill, and it's it's the new J.O. felony shit. But that's another album I got working on right now. But Broken Ground in the stores right now. It's a new film. It's, it's twelve new songs for me, James Savage, and Exhibit directed it with my boy Rashidi. Um, it's crazy. I want you guys to check that out. If you haven't got it, you can order it on openboardentertainment.com and I'll sign an autograph for you. It got 12 new songs and a movie. So you can check out, you know, see the visuals of it and check out the music. Yeah, uh, I listened to the album, uh, yeah. uh, unusual concept. And yeah. what's interesting, uh, you're a veteran. And yeah. uh, this is a perfect example how an album uh, yeah. can balance between new beats mm -hmm. and uh, old beats. For example, if I want to listen that old school layback mm -hmm. Geo Filoni, I'm listening to Time Flies. Yes. If I want some new stuff, I listen to when I grow up. Yeah. And uh, I wonder how many leftover tracks were cut from the retail version and uh, yeah. what's your favorite record of, of it? Um, we have a couple songs that didn't make the album that's hard as, mother, as a motherfucker, and I hope we use them for something or, or the part two of James Savage. But um, my favorite uh, song, my favorite song on, on the project on Broken Ground, one of my favorite songs is Naw nah, Bitch, Naw nah, Bitch. And then my other favorite song is Hit the Dirt with Germ Free singing. And then... Um, I really love where I grew up. It's one of my favorite songs to perform is where I grew up. And um, also Running is one of, another one of my favorite songs that me and Exhibit does when he has the whole crowd participate. And that's, that's another one of my favorite songs is Running with Exhibit. And, and Ape Shit too. So it's like, God damn, I got a gang of favorite shits because right. we ain't putting out no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm just happy to be back making music. Um, and I love performing, so I'm just I'm just thankful to be back in front of people, and I'm uh, tightening up my performance. So when I get back to America, they know I'm the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, God damn, this nigga ain't playing. This nigga really performing, and and we feeling that nigga like everywhere, like Queens, New York, nigga everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Feeling your boy, nigga. Shout out to Jam Master J. Rest in peace, Big Chuck, nigga. New York, West Coast, nigga. I love all y'all in the cuss, nigga. This crap, nigga. Y'all know what it is, nigga. I wanted to ask you, uh, how did you meet the JMJ? Because uh, you came up in a time that that uh, East-West tension really starting to, to, to bust. So I wonder how hey, did you hook up? Man, it was crazy, man. I actually was on a run, right? I was, on, I was in California, and I was gangbanging and shit, and I was on parole, and I was in YA, and I was on a run, and I fucking went back to the East Coast. My brother came and got me, took me to the East Coast, to Virginia, 
And I hooked up with this guy that was from New York. And he was fucking, he knew Jam Master J and everybody. He grew up in Queens. He was managing me and shit. And, um, and he took me to Jam Master J and I made two songs. And then Jay came looking for me like, let's do the deal. You know what I'm saying? So it was a rap. I made a song called Living for Them Four Things, talking about my neighborhood in San Diego. And then um, I made a song called Piss on Your Tombstone, talking about a couple rappers that I didn't like. Or not that I didn't like, or just I just want them to talk shit about. I can't say I did. I disliked them, because I really don't dislike people. But I just made a song about those guys just to fucking rile up shit. You know what I'm saying? And it worked. I got my deal with Def Jam. I signed to Jam Master J. And the first thing I did was the Jason's Lyric soundtrack. And um, it was a song called Brothers and Sisters. And um, yeah, it, it was crazy that, that I was on a movie soundtrack and my song actually played in the movie after I just got out of the fucking YA and being on a run and, and all that shit. And I fuck around and do a movie soundtrack and that motherfucker sold millions and millions of copies. It's like a fucking dream, you know what I'm saying? And being where I'm from with all the cussing and shit I do, it was R. Kelly on there, fucking BB and CC Winans. I said, R. Kelly, this nigga being on people. I know, BB and CC Winans was on there and fucking um, all kind of rappers and shit. And I was on that motherfucker. So I was proud of that. And then I got on the show soundtrack. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, shout out to Jam Master J because that nigga had juice over there. And he was getting me on everything. And you get a classic record under your belt. Uh, I was always wondering... Uh, Was there many leftover tracks from Take A Ride? Because I got um, one on with my... Take A Ride, it wasn't really no leftover tracks that many because... Um, I got one on my YouTube channel, the original yeah. version of I'm A Keep yeah. Banging. I'm A Keep Banging was not left out. It was a song, we used it for something. We used it for something else, but it wasn't on the album, but that was one of the songs, one of the first songs I made when I got my deal with Jam Master J. And I'm gonna keep banging. Didn't make the album, but it was it wasn't for the album. I made that I made that song just to fucking put it out because the album was already done, and that wasn't one of the songs I picked. But it was one of the songs I was performing, and that shit was going up. I remember Prince had a club in L.A. called um, I think it was the Glam Slam or something. Shout out to Prince. Prince, rest in peace. And he had a club in L.A. and everybody used to go there to perform. And it was cracking in L.A., man, downtown, man. You know what I'm talking about? And it was cracking. Hey, y'all know y'all think I'm crazy, man, but I ain't crazy, man. I'm telling the truth. Uh, tell me, J.O., uh, why didn't the Treacherous Records situation work out for you? Because you came... I mean, Treacherous... Uh, shout out to Treacherous Records, man. I still deal with those guys to this day, man. Shout out to Tico. You know what I'm saying? That he always look out. You know what I mean? Him and Mickey. I still communicate with those guys. I don't know what happened, but we always keep a good... We always had a good relationship. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. You know what I mean? You know, he, the Tico and them don't give a fuck because they rich as fuck. You know what I'm saying? They looked out for me. It, was, it is what it is. And they still gave me the project that I had. I still got the album that I did in the trenches over there. Would so, you, you know, it? I might be releasing in the trenches just to give it away for you guys because it wasn't released. And I know people was coming to the store to get that record. I remember I had on a blue rag on my neck with the yeah. khaki suit on and yeah. shit. I was going up and people was like, where the fuck in the trenches at? It never came out. But... I might just give it away to you guys because I still have all the music, so I might get it right and release it and do a couple videos to it and just release it for y'all and just just to give it to y'all. So that's a good idea because this shit is dope as fuck. And um, but I got a new record coming out. Hey, I got a lot of shit coming out. You know what I'm saying? I'm just fucking so thankful to be back on this platform with Open Bar Entertainment. Shout out to my bro Exhibit. Y'all go check out Broken Ground. It's in the stores. It's in fucking on YouTube. Y'all can check it out. Y'all can order it on motherfucking openbarentertainment.com and follow me, James Savage Music, on Instagram, Twitter, and all the other fucking Facebooks. Bitch. Uh, last questions from the past. Uh What did happen with that Rifleman project? Was it oh, ever Rifleman finished? Project. Or? Shout out to Prodigy and motherfucking 40 Glock. And fucking um, corrupt. Corrupt. I don't know what happened with the record, but did you ever finish? Shit, it was dope. Yeah, we we did a lot of songs, man. But I don't know, man. We just fucking. Oh, I do know what happened. Niggas seen us together, and other niggas that had their little little powers, they like, no, we gotta break this shit up. 
before we go platinum because we was going to do some noise. And I think other niggas that had their little shit cracking kind of like, let, let me get this guy, let me get that guy. And before they do that, you know what I'm saying? It was kind of weird. But I don't give a fuck. Uh, you mentioned that you, you're still gonna record under the J of Felony moniker. Mm-hmm. Uh, a couple of years back, I had a chance to interview Spice. Mm-hmm. And uh, is there a third uh, Criminals album coming out? Because the, the second one got bootleg and leaked before it got it was like official release. One? Yeah, mm-hmm. from Real Talk Entertainment like in 2007. Know. The I first one was uh, Criminals. Yeah, we'll the second one was uh, Criminal seven. Intent. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Will uh, you record another album with Spice? Yeah, that's my dog. You know what I'm saying? I love working with Spice. You know what I'm saying? Me and Spice go way back, man. It's cheek, man. My nigga, man. You know, it's it's always good working with Spice. You know what I'm saying? Him, E40, my dog, Be Legit, D Shot. You know what I'm saying? Sugar T. You know, they're my folks. Richie Rich. You know what I'm saying? Uh, cool. So we looking forward to you performing in Poland. And hey, let's get the house the down tonight. I got about 30 minutes before I go on. I'm gonna show you niggas what it is. One shot kill. I'm gonna show you what it do. The real rap shit. Uh, thanks. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it, man. West Coast in the building. James Savage, go get that shit. Biatch. No doubt. Biatch, rolling. <laughs> Thank you, brother.